Hello everyone! Welcome to yet another haul video. Some things I ordered, some things were sent to me. I've kind of tossed it all into a box <laughs> until I could deal with it. My littles are napping so I'm trying to only get this filmed before they get up and the noise gets crazy. So first off, Whimsy Stamps. I've seen a lot of their products for a while now and they've come with some really cutesy images that are very much my style. So they sent me all these awesome stamps to play with. These kind of kind of go together. So we've got this really cute, um, this is the fly by set, forgive my fingers, I've got like, I'm working on a card project right now too. So anyway, um, yeah, fly by stamp set. So you get a cute little like plane, a um, kite, a little zeppelin, you got clouds, you got a little paper airplane. And then there are um, like just a little swoop, you know, with a heart and then a bunch of words that can be, you know, written by the plane or part of the kite string, etc. So I, just, I think that's really cute. So there's hello, celebrate, love, friend, hugs, happy, congrats, thank you. So that one's really cute. <laughs> Another one I just, I think this is adorable. This is the Bunny Balloons stamp set. So you got these cute little bunnies. I love this one. <laughs> Holding the balloon, you've got one that's like a little further away, it's smaller than the other ones, and then this one holding onto a couple balloons, and then there's a bunch of handwritten sentiments. So, today is a good day for a great day. Your friendship lifts me up. Oh, I like that one. Happy birthday, follow your dreams, um, spring, enjoy today, have the best day ever, um, get carried away on your special day. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is just relax. I could get that tattooed on my arm just to remind me. So there's that one and then there's another little critter one that's really cute too. This one's really cute. This is Hugs Bunny. Just I like this one with them hugging the bear and the bunny hugging and then these two bunnies hugging. Isn't that so cute? Does some bunny need a hug? Oh there's two little bees too. <sighs> Sending hugs. Love your hugs. Your hugs are my favorite. Happy hug day. Seriously. So cute. This is that one. <laughs> There's this really cute donut set. This is donut birthdays. I just like the different styles. Now I've got little cute little happy faces. And then yeah, you're a year older. Um, donut worry, donut worry be happy. Um, you're a year older, but you donut look it. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Seriously. And then this one, I've seen cards made with this and I was like, ooh, where does this set come from? Cause it's just, so many people I know, this is old fart. <laughs> you know you're old when. <laughs> uh, an all-nighter is not getting up to pee. <laughs> your favorite kind of plans are canceled plans. You wake up hungover, but you <laughs> weren't drunk the night before. I know that one. You can laugh, sneeze, and do all at the same time. <laughs> you got brain fart. Bunch of numbers you can do, obviously, birthday. Um, or was that just a fart? Happy hour is a nap. Uh, you're complaining that this print is too small. <laughs> From one fart to another. Happy birthday, you old fart. Um, getting lucky means finding your car in the parking lot. Sorry, I forgot your birthday. Or wait, was it my birthday? Um, happy old fart day. You see your old furniture in an antique shop. <laughs> Seriously series. I think my mother would get a huge kick out of that set. So there's those and then there's a couple die sets which I don't have names on. Yeah but I will have links like always to everything. So there's this um, A2 frame one. So you've got a frame that it'll cut both sides. A nice thick frame so you can do shaker cards. And it's got some like wonky stitching lines within it. And then a smaller simpler frame that's just slightly narrower and then just even stitching lines along the outside perimeter and then a die that's going to cut a whole bunch of like confetti pieces that you can use to create a shaker card so I really like that one and then this fun one to create scenes so you got two really cool um, cloud shapes you got a basic cloud and then this one will cut the cloud in a stitch you know a stitch line as well and then some fun grass shapes I love anything to create scenes grass and clouds and all that the more the merrier so thank you so much Wimsy Stamps for sending these to me. That just really made my day and these will be fun to create with. So I've got those and I don't really know where to put them on. Um, I also got, this is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. This is the magnetic pin bowl. I just, 
wanted something that I could have on my desk to put my dies in when I'm crafting because I tend to lose them and they tend to stick to the bottom like my stamp platforms, anything magnetic. So I ordered this and for some reason in my head I thought this would be smaller but it's actually a really good size actually and here's my and I'm th I think it even says it on the website but always I always order things and then they show up and I'm like oh it's bigger than I thought so it's like five and a half inches across so a decent size and it's got a solid like kind of rubbery base you know so obviously it's meant for like pins and things but dies would be perfect I found a random die that had somehow got away from its die set so I'll have to find the set it meant it was meant to go in but yeah so you can just toss them in there and then pull them out when you need them so I like that a lot so I got that I got um picket fence distress ink I actually shockingly did not own this and I was thinking how nice it would be for certain times when I'm sponging over stencils or anything um this creates a really neat effect so it is very white but this is not pigment ink this does not show up the same way a white pigment ink will because it's still kind of like a, the distress ink formula but yeah I haven't had a chance to play with it literally I just opened it so we'll see I gotta do some fun little things with that so I got that finally got my hands on the new colors of the Nouveau drops that Tonic released I had one already there was the glittery yellow one that I had got and then these ones had all sold out and then they just got restocked so there's the double denim which is really nice I like that shade of blue so we have double denim which is a gloss yeah that's a gloss this is party pink which is a gloss which is nice it's like a more I guess a medium pink I would call it and then I have the blue babe which is another gloss just a really nice shade of blue and then this one is caramel cream so this one's a metallic such a pretty color and then last but not least this is gold gold coast which is a very cool gold you know not brassy not not super warm just a really cool gold color so I gotta swatch all of those and then yeah you guys if you've been watching my videos recently you all know like I've been obsessed with Nouveau drops so the more the merrier so I got that one and then I got a random clearly Posada has been releasing so many gorgeous stamps and just so many fun stamps but I picked up this one because it was just really pretty this is the perfect peonies stamp set so you got the stamp and then um to a perfect couple to a perfect daughter you are perfect hope your day is perfect oh, i really like that so i got that and i did get the coordinating die because what i really liked about the coordinating die is it's got all the little bits in there that will cut in between all of these so when the dies have that extra step in it for me it's totally worth the splurge to get it because it just it cuts all it out and it just makes it look way more finished I love that more companies are doing that so I got those and then I also got a bunch of the pretty pink one of the last the last pretty pink posh release because I couldn't resist there's so much stuff I want so and of course they released a whole bunch more fabulous jewels there were more sets in this release but I only got a few of them so I got the cute little um, happy mail stamp set cute I love the little got a little post office box and a little birdie little man yeah you've got mail sending you happy mail because it's so cute to stamp on envelopes there's a coordinating die set as well for the images so I got that I got this great little um simple sayings life set life is better with you you make life fun I like pretty pink posh's fonts on their sets so it's always nice to have then there's two word dies we have the lovely script which I really love and then the hugs shaker I have all the other ones had to add that one to the collection of those and then this really cute this is the playful puppies stamp set I just I couldn't resist they're just, they're just so cute they're so cute so yeah, you got all your little puppies and bones and hearts and a food dish and a ball and a little, little sleeping one and then yeah best friends forever and then there's a die set for all these little critters 
And then the jewels. I, I couldn't resist. I have so many jewels, but I just, I couldn't resist. They're all so gorgeous. The more, the better with all things. So they have, she released um, the sparkling clear jewels. So just your typical, I'm obsessed with sparkling clear ones because you can add them to absolutely everything. And there's a good variety of sizes, which are in all of these actually. So they're sparkling clear. This is the metallic gold. And these are like other metallic gold ones I have that they are they're like the clear or silvery parts you see. That's actually the back. So the, the actual jewel itself is gold. So it's just funny. I guess they're like painted. So yeah, I just I like, I like gold jewels. They're so pretty. So there's that one, and then there's ivory. So we've got ivory, and then the pearl white jewels. So you can see there is definitely a color, color difference. I like having the options. That's why I got both, because depending on what I've made, what the background is, sometimes the ivory would look better, sometimes just white would look better. And they're iridescent. Then we've got the metallic silver, which again, the flat kind of whitish parts, those are the back. The actual jewels themselves are like very metallic silver, which I love. And then last but not least, these are definitely my favorite. These are the metallic rose gold. These are like, the reflex on these are almost rainbow. They are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Love, love so much. So I got those. And then last but certainly not leave. Oh, there was one more stamp set hiding, hiding underneath everything. This is here. Yay. I was waiting for this to show up. Um, I got this Ulta new stamp set. This is the best dad stamp set. I just love this. So you've got like shaving implements, a gaming console, a little book, um, Measuring tape, keys, etc. I really like that. So yeah, you are my inspiration. Every day is Father's Day. A father's love is priceless. Thank you, Dad, for everything. So proud of you. You are my hero. You complete me. This one's for you. Happy Father's Day. Some stars. Like, I think that's just a great set. Such a great set. So I got that. And then I got two things are going to fall over here. And then I got a bunch of tonic glitter card stocks and their um like mirror cards because after i did the, that video not too long ago making that set of mft cards with the pattern paper and the metallic butterflies and the glitter and everything i was like i need more colors of glitter paper and more colors of shimmery cardstock and i knew tonic had a bunch so i got a ton of it because it's absolutely beautiful so tonic and Simon Says Stamp make my favorite um, glitter paper for die cutting and card making, hands down. Any of the other ones I've tried are not near as good. So I like both because they have different looks in their papers between the Simon and then the Tonic. So yeah, and just looking at it, oh, is this not, like, seriously, is this not the most beautiful sight ever? <laughs> Uh, I think I was able to get every single shade of the glitter. Um, I'm just trying to organize everything here. So, yeah. Let me pull out my Simon glitter. Just wait. So, yeah. They've got some different, like, tonics black sparkle. Simon's has a really pretty, almost silver glitter in it, which I love. Tonics is much more just very flat black. So it just depends on the look you're going for. I like having both for options. So there's that, there's different shades of, there's like a Welsh gold. Simon's is more of a, I think it's like a coppery color. And then Simon has a really bright gold. With gold, you can definitely have multiple shades, which I really, really love. And someone's driving by with a motorcycle. Uh, so much, I love the colors. I just love it. I can never get enough glitter paper now that there are these really, really great ones to choose from. Yeah, so much, that's the orchid. 
and then the candy floss. Aren't those pretty? So of course I will link, sorry, there's literally like someone driving back and forth with a motorcycle out there. Last time it was tractors, now it's motorcycles. <laughs> Uh, these are so gorgeous. I just love them. So the thing with the tonic ones is you can only get them individual large packs. So these are A4 size and you get five sheets, but you can only get, you know, a pack of each color. The thing I like about the Simon ones is you can get the multi-pack with all the colors, plus they have other multi-packs, and theirs are six by six, so they're a little easier to store. But I'll link to both. People can make... Um, informed decisions, but both are great. Both die cut like a dream. I've been using these ones so many times um, since the, these were released back in December. Absolutely love. I've used the tonic a couple times. Absolutely love it. So both are amazing. It just, if you want a good variety, definitely go with the Simon uh, variety pack and then, you know, do like I did and down the road just order one or two at a time, not the whole entire, you know, collection. But they're just beautiful, they make me happy. So I got that, and then the, like I said, the um, mirror card. So there's Harvest Gold, which it's so hard to show this, like there's me, hi. Um, Imperial Blue, Rose Platinum. And then they have, <clears throat> some of them are not um, shiny in that way, like this is the satin effect, so it's like a, yeah, like a soft satiny. It's not mirror reflective like the other ones, so I love that as well. Um, chrome silver, very much mirror. Emerald green, which is a mirror. Scarlet organza, which is a satin effect, because there's a satin effect, and then this is the high gloss ruby red. So you can see right there, like the reflection on the mirror, and that's what the satin looks like. So just depending on the look you were going for. And then this one is the polished gold. And last but not least is the Purple Mist, which is also a satin. And I'm not sure if this is all, there might be other ones that were sold out, but I can't wait, I'll link to everything you can check out. So yeah, that's, that's my most recent haul video. As always, I will have links below everything, below the video to everything. I'll have links on my blog where it's picture links and you can see I'll link to the stuff I talked about, etc. And yeah, you can check that out below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it and I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.